Today we are at Canada Olympic Park in Alberta, also known as Windsport. This is where the 1988 Winter Olympic was held. It was at that time the first Jamaican bobsled team competed in the Olympics. It inspired a movie called Cool Runnings. I watched that movie when I was younger, back in the Philippines, but never even dreamt that I would be in the same area. I didn't even make the connection between the movie and the Jamaican bobsled that was on display during my first few visits. I only made the connection when I rewatched the movie on Netflix a few months back. We are here for one very specific activity, freefall. At the time of filming, this is the latest addition to the park. You can go for one jump or two jumps. If you're doing this to face your fear of heights, one should be enough. If you're doing this for fun, I'd say do the two jumps. It's $24.99 for one jump and $34.99 for two jumps. They have more activities here in the summer like summer bobsled, zipline, mini golf, and luge. Looking at the jump platform, it looked really high. 80 foot drop they say. I tried to research on a jump before I went, and came across the video by Danny Austin from the Calgary Herald and Calgary Sun. He got all his gear hooked up, and all was left was to jump. Give me a second here. And after 45 minutes of standing on the ledge, he calls it off. I feel bad for him because he had to do this for work. At least for me, I choose to be here. I wanted to do this. It might seem the first thing that you want to do is look down. If you're already afraid of heights, just don't. Just don't look down. The harness and the system looks really safe. They had a redundant line as well that is in parallel with the main line. George explained in detail what I can expect and what to do, like gripping the line for more comfort. It doesn't do anything. It's more for your mind to think that it's secure because you're holding on to something. He also went over how to take off from the platform. It's a step, not a jump. If they offer to count you down, just say yes. It might not seem much, but if you have a cue to step forward, it helps you just to go for it. Biggest tip of all, look forward. Enjoy the view of Calgary.
to go. Uh, I should be going. Um, you know what, Dasha, let's count. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The free fall in video land is short, but for me, it was definitely longer. The feeling of weightlessness is just great. They said it was just like skydiving, but I haven't tried that yet. The most similar experience I can compare it with is a roller coaster, but without the bulky harness and coming from a really steep angle. And also, that last more than a second. Having no bulky harness at all, I feel so free. You can just get immersed in the experience. It was great, actually. Awesome. Woo! That was good. Woo! Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Practice actually my mind, actually. With that. So uh, that helped. <laughs> Time for a second jump. To be transparent, I think this was easier for me to do because I did something like this before. When I visited the Philippines a few years back, I went cliff diving, although the height of the diving board is not even half of this. When I got down from my second free fall, someone said to me that my lips were so white. They asked me if it was windy up there, and I said yes. I'll just go with that. It was windy and Calgary so dry that my lips were white. Yeah, I'll just go with that. It's not that I was so scared that my lips turned white, it was just windy. Let me know in the comments below if you're considering doing this. And if you did it, did you step off right away? Or did it take you a few minutes to gather courage to step off? Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Plus, don't forget to subscribe for more adventure like this on my bucket.